Last concept for today. I want you to truly understand what's happening inside your body at the beginning of a low carb diet. And for that, you need to understand how your body's two storage systems work. And we've already talked about the two systems quite a bit, but to make it clear, storage number one is glycogen. Storage number two is fat. I'm hoping this is the last time I ever have to mention glycogen, but no promises. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use an analogy to help you understand how these storage systems work together. Let's use a money analogy. I want you to think of the food that you eat as your dollars. These dollars can buy you energy. You need energy every day for body maintenance and repair. If you're an extremely active person, like a collegiate athlete or a landscaper or a roofer, you need a lot of energy in your day. Therefore, any money that you make or any energy that you eat is immediately spent. Those people that I mentioned don't generally come to me for weight loss. That's because everything they take in gets used. There's none left for storage. For your average person, which is most of us adults, the extra food dollars we collect in a day but don't use go into our temporary storage. Think of this like your wallet. The money in your wallet can be quickly pulled out and spent whenever you need it. It's especially great to have this cash on hand for unexpected needs or sudden needs whenever they come up. This wallet is your glycogen. Now, if this wallet gets really fat and starts to overflow, your body doesn't throw the money away. No, no, no. This extra money gets put into your long-term savings account, your vault. This vault is your fat storage. Money that's thrown into the vault gets converted. I like to think of this like converting that money to gold. It's not easily pulled back out, and even if you do, it's not easy to spend. Your brain loves this pile of gold. It protects it. I think of my brain like a dragon sitting on its pile of gold. It takes great pride in having plenty in the vault. The bigger the pile, the safer your brain feels. You could go for a long time without any money coming in and still survive. This is why your fat storage exists. For your brain to allow you access to that vault, there has to be a literal crisis. Hundreds of years ago, that crisis was called famine, and all of us went through it pretty seasonally. In modern times, we have many seasons when our food intake goes up, but none when our food intake goes down. This is a problem. So short of going through a famine, we have to find another way to trick our brain to give it up. And that's what you're accomplishing here in Jumpstart. On days one through three, we are purposely lowering that glycogen down. We are emptying your wallet. By keeping our carb counts low, we ensure that we are not refilling that wallet. But we've discussed how your body needs glycogen. It's your emergency fuel. This forces your brain to siphon off some of that fat to provide for your emergency fueling. Your brain won't want to supply more energy than it needs to. It wants those carbs, that easy energy that it can tuck away. It's always working towards rebuilding your fat supply. You can reassure your brain by continuing to bring in the dollars, just not in the form of sugar. And soon enough, your brain will become adapted to using its new type of fuel. As we go further, I'm gonna teach you more and more tricks to keep opening up that vault. We're gonna trick that dragon into getting off that gold so you can change it back into usable currency, your ketones. Keep going, friends. You've pried open that vault. You're doing it. I'm gonna show you how to keep doing it. There's already a light at the end of this detox tunnel, so just keep going forward.